Hey guys, welcome to another coaching video. This one's a guardian level mid void spirit who I've coached a lot. Uh, we focus mainly on map rotations and movements, itemization, and when to take team fights and ganks. I edited this one down a lot more than my other videos. I tried to cut out a lot of the filler and just keep the juicy bits in there. So let me know what you think of the format, if it works better or worse. And uh, with that, I'll let you enjoy the rest of the coaching session. Don't forget, at the end of the video, you can always leave comments down below and I'll be happy to answer them. All right, enjoy. I think range ops is good. I think also with his blind, it's going to fuck up your last hitting. So you might need a little bit more mana than normal, just so you're, yeah. you're going to have to use your spells a lot. Jesus. Well, besides Shadow Shaman and Underlord, they do not have enough lockdown for you. Yeah. That's really it. And it's not like Underlord can just kill you either. It's just that this, this should be a really good game for you. Like they have to bring multiple heroes to kill you. The simulate is going to be good against missiles, though, so yeah. that's, that's one thing to think about. Do you have yourself a ward? You need a ward. No, I assume... Yeah, my bad. I should have fucking taken that. I assume that uh, the supports take it, because normally they just take all the wards. Uh, mid, mid always gets a ward. Yeah. So this lane is not favored for you until you hit six, right? Gotcha. So... I, I wouldn't be trying to lane against him if I don't have to. So that means you want you want to do exactly this. You want to rubber band the lane back and forth. Like you want this to go push into his tower. So I would I would drag to the ranged here to deny the ranged and, and get the way of pushing into him because you don't want to you don't want static laning like this. I like it. I like it. It's good. This is why you want to simulate, by the way. Thinking about the rune. You need that water rune. You need to keep dragging. Keep dragging the creeps. That's, that's what you do. If a lane's bad, you just drag the creeps. Just drag the creeps over and over again. Just keep dragging them. Bottle, bottle. I would bottle and ward the top rune, like on the side, so he's not going to get it easily. While your tank goes in. Alright, he's got bottle two now. Yeah, you need to take the simulate next to avoid some of that damage. I would shove this because he's missing. You need to call missing. Shove this into tower. I also wouldn't buy the wand. I'd get the boots. I'd sell the wand. Because the wand says that you want to sit here and lane against him forever, right? Gotcha. Should I... Is it too late to sell it now? I mean, you got to mouse over it and see. I can't see it. Yeah, it is. Late. Like that. Yeah, it's a good try though. Yep, keep dragging like that. You can keep doing it. There you go. Pull it under tower again. Once you get level two to simulate, you'll have a lower cooldown because otherwise, like, if you noticed, his missile came up before your dissimulate did. If you get level two, W, you'll be good. If he walks away for this, you shove it into his his tower again. You need to clear this up quickly, and then go go use your level 6 somewhere, you know? Ooh, you fucked his rocket there. You said I need to do what now? I, w I would try and clear this wave quickly, and then go like gang sniper or something. So you need to prep for that. So you can't you can't just walk away while that's still there, though. I mean, now, now you, I don't know, kind of have to. You understand what I'm getting at? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like, you actually outpush the lane against him. He out harasses you, but you, you beat it. Like you beat him on push. Okay, so this is a good time, right? Good dodge, yep. Okay, let's just run top. Tell them you're going top. Um, and be thinking about your items you want next. Make sure they're ready. Like, don't just go. Like, check if they're ready. Like, they have a wave. Yeah, it's... It's, it would be a good time if they're ready to, to dive on this. Wanna kill Sniper, not fucking Shadow Shaman. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. Oh, alright, that works. Alright. And then I would start making my way back to mid now. Good job, dude. 
Make sure you have a new TP scroll and be thinking about next item. What are you thinking here? Face boots or Yules? Um. Normally, I've gone. Uh, Check eight minute rune. Oh, I think he has it because this bottle's, bottle's full. You might need to send yourself some clarities. Oh. Ooh. Easy rune. I don't give a shit. Nice. Yeah, send yourself some uh, clarities, I think. And then whatever item you're going to go next. Is that, this rune is really nice for you, too, because you can dodge his missiles with that. Probably need to go back now, I think. I mean, you could go to bot jungle. Yeah, go bot jungle. We'll get that bounty. Oh, you went treads. Yeah, that's normally what I go. Interesting. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. He's dead. Nice job. I would never go treads on that hero. That's so weird. Okay. Because Void Spirit's not a stand there and punch you hero, right? Yeah. That's true. Oh, he's just going to spam the shit out of you. Yeah, okay. Go back to base. Let Marana take lane. And then go kill Sniper again. You need to be on int treads most of the time so you have more mana. Yeah. You need a new TP scroll as well. Probably two, because you're going to TP out, I would guess. Tell her to just take this lane. She's, like, setting up to gank. Like, tell her to just fucking take it. Yo, Marana, just take the lane. This is where you start having an impact, right? So you're level eight. Um, bottom is a waste of your time. Yeah, I would yeah. just... You kind of need someone to come top with you, though. It's a problem. I mean, I guess you could maybe kill one of them. I would clear the wave, and then you could try and use Marana ult. Go gank him. I need to yeah. let them know Tinker's missing and all that shit. Tinker's bottom, so yeah, you could definitely... Oh, shit, okay. I don't know. I don't know if I wanted you to do that, but I guess we're in now. Fuck it. I like it. He's dead too. Oh no, he's not. Never mind. We're good. Uh. Well, you're here now. This is your lane now. This is your lane. Yeah. Be aside, be smacking jungle camps here. Cause like, what are you gonna do to the tower? Right? Yeah. Try not to burn mana if you don't have to. Like, I want you to be top right now. Like, we don't want to be fighting Underlord. This is not good for you. Yeah. These are, like, remember what I said at the beginning? Like, these are the two heroes that actually lock you down. These are, like, the yeah. two heroes you don't want to be interacting with. And you don't want to be static laning against Tinker. You can all in on Tinker, but you don't want to be standing in front of him, right? So I would just yeah. leave. I'd just walk away. Maybe TP top. Hit the rune, then TP top or something. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Try not to show on the creeps. I like it. You see Sniper. You can definitely make a play here. This is good. Gotta wait for the wait for the creeps. I'll be patient here. Oh, they must have a ward. Uh, Your bottom tower is injured. He's not really pushing the wave. No, he's so not. He's he's fucking it up. All right, that's fine. Um, I guess go mid. So this is where, okay, so you just need to farm at this point. Yeah. Because, like, your team is not making moves that enable you to do anything. So unless you can solo kill the sniper, there's not, I'm, you, theoretically you can, but sniper is the same no, fucking level as you, right? Yeah, no one's top, so I might go top and try and, like... Yeah, yeah, go, go burst him and then make him fuck off. Just kick him out, try and just kick him out of this lane. Yeah. I Fine, just go push the wave then, fuck it. Yeah, he sees you. This is definitely warded. But he's obviously scared of you, right? So... Oh, dodge that shit. Nice. Cool, you made Tinker come top. Tinker has Blink, but no boots. Luna's getting farm. You just gotta find some farm somewhere. Take, this, take the medium camp, yeah. I wonder if you go Midas, dude. Do you think so? Is that crazy? Is normally, that... well, normally what I do is go Witchblade, which is, I mean, still hmm. like, you know. And you got a Luna, like she's gonna farm like crazy. Yeah. But you're kind of falling behind because you're having to like wander all over the place here. Use the trees on the left this time, maybe, because like he he definitely like there's a ward over here on the right, like definitely, right? So. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
Red switch? Okay. Yeah. I would maybe go home now. <laughs> yeah, I fucking Oh shit, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out, get out. Nice. Okay. Okay, well they burned a lot on you, so I guess that's okay. They're all gonna go. <laughs> so yeah, when you um when you go in on sniper like that, you need to keep one of your spells to dodge that crap, right? Yeah. Until you have like a Yules or something like. Uh, so do you think I should go the Midas? I don't know. Just because of the pace of the game, I feel like Midas wouldn't be awful. But. So the decision on like you don't normally go a farming item on a mid hero, right? Right. So that's I don't know. Maybe not. Fuck it. Just go Witchblade like you normally would. Yeah. Push this down. You guys should defend middle. You should defend middle and glyph. You should defend middle and glyph. He, he put wards on it. Yeah, you need to not let them take this tower. This tower is super important. Your middle tower is under attack. Farm this up. Clear this shit. This mid tower is like critical for you guys. Yeah. And then I would counter push because they all just rotated top. You just shove this back in again, especially because you have no TP. Like aggressively push this. Cut the wave if you have to, right? Because you're only worried about Shadow Shaman and um, Underlord locking you down. Yeah, yeah. Just go cut. Go cut it. Like go behind their tower. You know what I mean? We're not going to go in on Underlord. That's a waste of our time. I'd, I'd go into their triangle now. So the thing is, Sniper doesn't really want to fight you. Um, Zeus definitely does not want to fight you, and Tinker doesn't really want to straight up fight you either, right? See who shows in middle, so just play back, see who shows middle. I think your Wraith King can hold mid, you can make your way top with your supports. Sing the Sniper, get them to come with you. Use Maron ult if you have to. This is the thing, like, Sniper is falling, farming a fucking wave, and like, there's nothing to do on your side of the map. Like, you guys should all be, like, killing him over and over again. He shouldn't be allowed to go up that far. Okay, they're reacting to middle. So if you find the sniper, you're good. Sniper went middle, so just go push top wave. Maybe get yourself a ward for this area too, to make it easier to catch this guy. They all just super rotated. You might need to rotate middle if they hard commit here. They're not really defending the tower adequately. Okay, okay they kind of got it. Yeah, you're good, just shove this up. Try and position your dissimulate so it hits everything there. Gotcha. Get a little bit of efficiency. Just want to be doing everything like fast, you know? Right. That's definitely something I struggle with. So Shaman's bottom right now. So you're good. Because that's the main guy you're scared of. You're, you're basically scared of like one of their DPSs plus Shaman or Underlord, right? So it's like Tinker Shaman or like Underlord Sniper. That's like really yeah. all you give a shit about. So wherever like Underlord and Shaman is, you just play away from them. But you also want to be trying to play like in their face. So, like now you're forcing a reaction top. This is good. Yeah. I guess if they're all mid, should I just try and push into the tower? I mean, you're not gonna do tower damage. You just need the yeah, wave to be up there. Wraith King's forcing them bottom, right? So you could see who goes top. So just be ready to go on top. Someone's gonna come up here for this, right? Yeah. Maybe put a ward like here. Decent one. Did I mean? Yeah, there you go. Hey, go clear the wave again. Fuck it, sniper's bottom. This is the advantage of this hero, right? So like, you, you couldn't find any farm earlier, but you're so hard to fucking kill, like, that you can go farm aggro like this. Anchor showed up. That's fine. Nice dodge. Shaman's here too, so we're out. This is great. Let's TP bottom and kill sniper. Wait for him to show on the wave, be patient. If he doesn't show, that means he's in the jungle, right? Yeah. So he'll be up here somewhere. You should chase him too. Like, fucking chase him. He'll be farming here next, right? That's obvious. This one's a little dangerous, though. Shaman's nearby. I see him middle, so you can't go yeah, for it anymore. Yeah, coming towards there. They're both coming towards there. That's fine. 
I feel like that's unsafe. Um, so you gotta let uh, Luna take this wave. You take the camp. Yeah. Next item, I'm thinking go ags. Sure, yeah. Make sure you buy a new TP scroll as well. Um, top wave is big, but you don't have a scroll for it, so make sure your team clears top wave. This mid fight is just stupid. Like, yeah. I'm gonna waste your time. I think you've got that with his skeletons. You're good. You're just farming. Kind of just need information. So this is the issue with this draft, right? Like, no one's going to make space. So you have to kind of make space, but also, like, be selfish at the same time. Yeah. It's, it's not easy. You might want to think about an item that just counters them. So, like, um, obviously BKB is insanely good this game. Yeah. Shadow Shaman is not alone. <laughs> yeah. They could fold on this. If they go, be ready to make a move on this. Like, if they fold on mid, you need to be ready for it. If they don't, you got to catch this wave. Yeah, clear this wave up. And don't be scared to, like, use an astral step, like, here and there just to get around yeah. quicker. So they're hard committing to this fight. This is kind of stupid. You need to run up there. Run up there and clean up. Aim for like uh, this this area. Catch sniper over here. You can murder these guys. Dead sniper right there. Beautiful dude. Right. This is as kind of death as you could hope for. Lincoln's is not bad, except Zeus kind of fucks your Lincoln's. But um, yeah. it do, it is good against Tinker and Shadow Shaman. Or you think about Lincoln for a defensive item at some point. Yeah. You don't do tower damage, so I'd run yeah, bottom yeah, here. Yeah. Run to bot lane, clear that up. They just burnt a bunch of shit. Shaman went top, so you're fine. Like unless Underlord shows up, you're good. Go 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 here, dude. Go here. So when I say like go bottom, I mean like go like. If you're playing like mid, you kind of need to default to like in their face and then backwards yeah. as opposed to the other way around, right? So if you sure. go here and you clear this wave, then farm backwards, like you get more information and you have that window, right? For sure. Now Sniper's here. I mean, you can just dive him. You got a regen rune. Yeah, there you go. Now Underlord's here. Good. This is great. And this is important, because even if you don't kill him, you're making this dude scared. Like, he can't just fucking show up in a lane alone. Underlord has to babysit him. Now you can yeah. farm this shit. See if someone shows on this bot wave. Remember, you have regen rune, so you can be kind of a psycho right now. Shadow Shaman's... Hey, push bottom, then. The lockdown is top. The, the heroes that threaten you are top. Fuck this Luna. She can be farming somewhere else. Yeah, just shove this in aggressively. I'd, I'd actually cut the wave. I'd dive behind the tower and kill these creeps. Oh, nice. Now walk the middle. Bottle charge, you're missing 400 health. Ooh, haste rune, perfect. Yeah. Nice. So I would take that, I'd clear mid, and then I'd run top. Smoke is stupid. Ignore this smoke. That smoke is dumb because... We have no information. Well, you do have information, but it's not actionable. Yeah, um, yeah. Wraith King is dead, Mirana's respawning, and like Luna's like just farming. Like, where where are you going to smoke and kill someone, right? So it's yeah, it's just sure. a waste of a smoke. I like his... his um, the, I like the effort, of course. <laughs> nice to see people trying to smoke. Yeah. You guys are totally controlling the map right now. So you're getting to safely farm like all of this. So if you just keep yeah. this status quo going, you guys win. You don't have to do anything. For sure. Really look at this fight and see if it makes sense before hard committing to it. Wraith King's not in position. Sniper just TP'd in. I don't know if you saw that. Shadow Shaman's not here, but he might be able to TP. Get your Ags now. Yeah, yeah. Go on the Shadow Shaman. Go on the Shadow Shaman. Back to our protection. Oh, get him. Nice, dude. Nice. Nice. Good job. And then you push this because you TP here. This Wraith King defers to you. You're a higher priority than him. 
See how you, and make sure you get a new TP scroll. This is maybe would have been a good game for bots now that we're looking at how the game is being played, you know? A good game for what? Boots of Travel. Oh, yeah. But do you need to defend top? I don't think so. I think you pressure this and you make them rotate on this tower because this tier two is more important than this tier one. I don't, don't think my next item I would be... walk in here. I'd, I'd be walking in here just so you, you don't know who's like showing yeah. up. Blessings upon a loyal warrior. He'll top. So if he's up there, that means there's people behind him. So yeah. I think you're safe to take the next wave. Yeah, they're all there. So just go cut the wave, kill this tower. Marana fell for the bait. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Kill this guy. I like it. That makes two. Which blade kill him, maybe? You don't really have to be too scared of that. I I I thought I Oh now you do. Oh fuck. Oh get out, get out, get out. Step, step. Nice. Not in the tower. Ah. <laughs> Good try. Good try. Yeah, I swear the fucking god I pressed E on that dude, but... Mm, Kinda had cooldown. It's alright. Yeah. What item we think next? I think you need a defensive item now. Uh, yes. So it's either Lincoln's or BKB. Um, I feel like Lincoln's is fine. Link, is he... Yeah, I mean, Link, I was, so, I was thinking, like, obviously I need a defensive item, and I also, like, am kind of burning mana pretty fast. Yeah. So Lincoln's kind of addresses both of those things. Yeah. I don't know. I honestly don't know if Lincoln's or BKB is more correct. So if you think about it, like, they have nothing that goes through BKB. They do have multiple ways to pop a Lincoln's. So yeah. if they are coordinated, Lincoln's is kind of garbage. So maybe you just go BKB. Yeah. I don't know if you would want both either. That's the other thing, right? Yeah. So where do you think you should go now? I would walk bottom. Or fuck it, TP bottom, screw it. I don't think I show up to this fight. No, you don't show up to oh, this yeah. fight, but you go get the wave for sure. You sprint, use a step even if you have to get there quickly. You want to kill this wave quickly? Yeah, for sure. Because this is where they're going to walk to next, right? Like, so just get this out of the way. Rith King's a nutcase. What is he doing? I don't know if I go for this next one. Well, we have... You're fine. Yeah, can you can get this next one. You see Shaman middle. Nice. Good deny there. That sniper's killable. That sniper's very killable. Go on the sniper. DKB, that's bad for you. Yep. Play the outside. Wait for his BKB, it's down. Okay, you might be able to re-go if Wraith King wants to go. Okay, get out, get out, get out, get out. You're out. They rotated. Luna's in hard, dude. Oh, big Warlock Ho. Okay, we're back in, we're back in. Pick that Zeus off, maybe? Nice, he's almost dead. Perfect. All right, kill this ward. That was good. You played that fight really well. I like like the in and out. That was perfect. Yeah. That was really good. You guys should pressure Rax here. The enemy's bottom tower has paid for its impudence. Go, go walk with them. What you're doing is correct, but it might distract them and they might think like, oh, we're not pushing high ground. If yeah. you stand there and farm that. You should be able to stand there and farm that, but just to be safe. And then after this, I would TP top or middle. Um... I'd, I'd Astral step out to get to safety and TP top. Yeah, there you go. We out. Fuck this. We out. Good job. Should have BKB for the next fight, which will be really good. Maybe send yourself a Clarity and a TP scroll as well. Farm a jungle camp while you're waiting. And I would sell this Quelling Blade. After this wave, maybe, or just throw it on the courier. The the courier. Okay. Did you see what was on it? What was on with it? Uh, the sniper's courier went to secret shop, picked up an ultimate orb. Oh, uh, okay. 
He's probably going like Scotty or Manta or something. Okay. Um, did you see Tinker's items? Check his items. You should be clearing top wave right now. Oh my god. The next level play would be to drop your fucking BKB in the trees so they don't see it. <laughs> but maybe they won't <laughs> notice it. I don't know. I mean, to be fair, I don't think in this rank too many people are even fucking checking that stuff. So. Did you see Tinker's items? Uh, no. So he is close got to blink. He is close uh, to sheep stick. You need to be middle. TP or get there quickly. Wow, dude. The fucking AOE. All right, you guys should rush. Tell your team to go rush. And just walk in and start punching it. Get them to come with you. You guys should absolutely rush right now. If they don't want to, though, then fuck it. We push. But you should... Ideally, you would rush here because you guys clear, yeah. you clear it super fast. And, like, Luna's already unkillable. So it just guarantees you win the game, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think people... I don't know why. Like, they want to push for stuff like that. And then, like, once they're up, they're like, okay, now we'll rush on. Yeah, yeah. No, it, it's absolutely stupid. Right? Because they do this, like, they glyph. And now, like, they're all going to be up except for Sniper. And if Sniper has buyback... Now you're in a 5v5 and you can't safely just Roche, right? On the flip side, you do have a Luna and Luna murders the entire base, so maybe this is correct. Yeah. I would have gone Roche here, but who knows. I mean, Roche to me just feels like the safest option. I always try it to is. Say it's, it's the safe, safest you know. and it's the greediest. Like, it's just, yeah. like, why not take it if you can kill it for free? So here, you need to utilize this BKB to make space for the Luna so that she can hit the tower, right? So when on the next wave, when they're going, you BKB and you just dive the back line. Like, kill this Shaman with your BKB. Perfect. All right. And you guys could keep going, or you could rush. You're probably going to keep going, though. Nobody threatens you. They have no lockdown for you. Unless, like, Tinker suddenly got a sheep stick, but I don't think he has it. Alright, well played, dude. Hell yeah. GG. I think I definitely picked up a lot of shit on that. So, like, one thing that, like, I am probably the guiltiest of doing that's really bad, mm -hmm. um is I'll stick, well, I'll, I'll try and, like, rotate and make those, like, rotations. Sometimes it's hard because people are so, like, they don't pay attention to what anyone else is doing. Yeah. Um, but I just, the, the worst thing I do is I just stick in lane, and I don't think of things in terms of, like, map control, which yeah. I think you push me in the direction of a lot this game. Like, if I go to a lane, I don't typically stay there, even if it makes the most sense for me to do that. Yeah, um, you're, I mean, if you look at the farm, you're definitely under-farmed uh, and under-leveled, right? And yeah. that is, that is like, that's what I said was going to happen, right? Like, you got a Wraith King, you right. got a Luna, the Wraith King went fucking Radiance. Like, you have two position ones. Yeah. So, either you be an asshole and try and farm as much as them and then give them map control, or you, like, do this. And it just kind of sucks. So, I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't look at this as, like, a reflection of your gameplay, right? But, like, um... Yeah. Well, another thing, though, you know, because, like, another reason that was so good to think of things in that way, and I normally wouldn't have, is in games like this where I'm playing against somebody who counters me pretty hard in lane, a lot of the time I, I really don't know what to do. I, like, maybe try and go jungle and stuff like that, but, uh, and I, I kind of know to shove the wave and stuff, but I don't, like, shove it as aggressively, like, literally run up to it. Even if it's in the middle, just shove it and get out of there. Normally, I'll wait till it hits tower range and then shove it. But, um, yeah, I think I picked up a lot on that. Um, normally, I, like, I, I have, like, a weird thing about getting close to their towers, um, like, shoving out, like, another lane while they're somewhere else. Yeah. Just because normally I don't play heroes that are, like... Uh, or like before I was playing mid, I was playing a lot of off lane. I didn't have a lot of heroes where I could just escape so easily. But right. I should be taking advantage of that now that I am playing mid heroes that can get away. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah I mean, I think you, you pretty much got it. Um, the thing is like, so with that Tinker matchup, like as we saw, like if you stand there and static it, like he just, 
wears you down, right? Right, right, but exactly. he doesn't have AoE and you do, so you have the advantage of being able to control the wave. Like, yeah. And pure and simple. Now, it was easier before when there was a small camp, because basically all you would do is, like, shove the wave in, go kill your small camp, come back. Right. It's a little bit different now, because that's not there, so, like, what do you do in that downtime? I guess you go grab the fucking million runes that spawn, but, like... Yeah. It, there was definitely a lot of periods where it's just like, okay, there's nothing to do, but I don't want to lane against this guy. For sure. Right? The other thing yeah. is that um, I think even in this meta... Supports are just not rotating as much as they used yeah, to. Yeah, for sure. Even in higher ranks, like people are just staying in lane way longer. It's partly because of the flag bearers. So what that means for you is you don't really need to be worried about getting ganked as much because you're shoving the wave into their tower over and over again. Like normally that would be the concern, right? Like, oh, I want to hug my tower so I don't die. But like, it's just not really an issue. The only time that's an yeah. issue is if the enemy mid like can run you down and kill you, right? Right. Like a quap or something who can always like out chase you, maybe then it's a problem. But like, yeah, I think the way you did it was good. I would just I would work on trying to get a little bit more efficiency out of your spells. Like, yeah, when you use an AOE spell, try and like hit all the creeps. Think about where like the simulate's gonna end up, right? So if yeah, you're using it for like wave clear, stand in the wave or like, I mean, it's just practice too, but just really yeah. like focus on that. Like I want to get as much damage out of my spell every time I cast it as possible. Yeah. I think that'll for be sure. really helpful. But yeah. Um, yeah. It looks like even though, you know, I got kind of bullied away from the lane, there wasn't really any time where there was like a really great discrepancy between me and uh, Tinker in net worth and level. No, I mean, if we look at the graph, let's see. How did you do against this Tinker? Um, so for net worth, you guys were pretty much even the whole time, except after like nine minutes. And that's where that's where you started trying to do rotations and they weren't happening. So he yeah. pulled ahead there. But up until that point, you were kind of staying even. Um, yeah. And you're staying even on levels, too. Which is great, yeah. right? Because that was a shit lane for you, and you did fine. So yeah. that's that's really good. Yeah, um, see, that's the thing is, it's like a lot of the times it's it's hard. Like you know, I, I it's pointless to like be in this mindset because you know it doesn't get you anywhere. But a lot of the times it's like I know if I was in a higher rank and I rotated, people would be more ready for those things. And and definitely like you know, I try to pay attention to where the wave is at, what spells do they have, what, where's their health at, where's mm -hmm. their mana at. Um, but a lot of times, even in like pretty good situations, people won't pay attention, and then like those kind of opportunities will fall through, you know, our hands a bit, yeah. and that puts me in an awkward position where it's like, okay, well, I just left this lane to come up here, nothing came of it, and you know, now I gotta either walk all the way back or do I farm jungle? Those types of, of situations get kind of like hard so, to make the right decision. Yeah, that can be hella annoying. Um, really, there's. There's only a few things you can do about that. So, like, a, a good example, like, was when you went to gank Sniper and then Wraith King pulled the wave back to the tower instead of clearing it, right? Yeah. Like, he just, he's doing the exact opposite of what you want. So, really, the, the only, th I'd say there's, like, two things you can do. The first is communicate more. So, be like, you could just ask him, be like, yo, if I rotate top, can we kill Sniper? Yeah, for sure. And you're not telling him to do anything. You're just asking him. If he doesn't respond, then it's a no-go, right? Yeah. Or, you know, like, whatever. Like, you can tell him, like, hey, let's go on this guy or whatever. Um, just make sure you're not flaming people. Yeah. The other thing the other thing you can do, and this is a little bit harder and will take a lot of practice, is think about what you're going to do if it doesn't work. So, like, okay, I want to go kill Sniper. And if the Wraith King, like, doesn't push the wave, or let's say, you know, Marana needs to land her arrow for it to happen. Like, let's say you're, like, ganking a weaver or something. Like, we need arrow to land. And the arrow doesn't land. Whatever shit happens. What are you going to do? Like, are you going to kill the jungle camps? Are you going to steal the wave? Are you going to TP to another lane? So have the fallback ready before you make the move, right? Yeah. And that'll make it easier, because like if you had to TP there, then it's like, okay, are there jungle camps I can farm nearby? Yes, good. Okay, 
or there's not. Okay, I don't want to TP here because there's going to be nothing for me to do afterwards, so I either walk there or I don't go at all. That makes sense? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so that's that's really the, the three things I would focus on, just like um, spell efficiency and having a fallback. And I, I don't know how much you're communicating with like chat and pings and stuff like that, because I can't see that in yeah. this mode. But it always helps. Like the more you can communicate positively, it's always going to help you, especially at low ranks. And especially if um, you think you have a better idea about how the game should go and you feel like other people don't, then you can yeah. try and like be a little bit of a leader. But just don't fall into the trap of like trying to play the game for them right right for sure yeah yeah definitely in like this rank it's you know i try to not like play as like a position one but i try to be greedy and make sure that i have a game because that i'm the only one who i can really count on but absolutely yeah you know without trying to play it like you know okay well i'm just gonna make myself the late game raid boss you know yeah type of that's not being greedy by the way so yeah. like being greedy is like going off lane wraith king and going radiance yeah. or like if we had gone midas and then we hadn't done rotations to try and kill people that would be greedy yeah for sure true if you're in a lane and like wraith king is farming it and you steal the farm that's not greedy you're the position two he's the position three and yeah. let's you know especially if like you tp'd somewhere and he didn't then he he if he has an option and you don't that's not being greedy right yeah honestly i i kept forgetting <laughs> he was our off lane because i just assumed okay it's right yeah i didn't there. really look like it did it <laughs> <laughs> right yeah yeah right on man well, okay well, i hope that was helpful well, i think i'll make this yeah into no, a little, right. uh... it definitely was i really appreciate it nice for sure i'll make this in a little video and we can keep doing more of these if you want because i got all the time oh, yeah. in the world man so like yeah, I'm usually off um, like Monday through Wednesday, so for sure. time around then I'd love to do another one. Yeah, for sure, man. For sure. Cool, All right, dude. Cool. Well, I'm going to take off and get some dinner. but For sure, for sure. I thanks, appreciate GG. It. Well played. You're welcome. And I will, uh, I'll check you later, man. Catch you around. Peace. All right. Thank you for watching. Hope that was fun. And have a good night. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All that stuff.